Hi ladies, Penny here. Um, come along today to show you what I've been up to. Um, I think I should have entered this for Amanda's little thing in August because um, it took quite a, a while to do and it does use a lot of Amanda's pretty laces. But anyway, um, you think, what is it? Well, you know one of those hold doors that you get when you get um, a laptop, not a laptop, a tablet, and you, you have this pocket thing to put it in, and then it all like kind of wraps up on itself, yeah? Well, I have mine hanging in my bedroom. Hold on. But then that's a pole. I have a pole near me, fixed to my bed to help me get in and out, yeah? And... I have this slung over it, so when I finished with my earphones rather than my tablet, I put my earphones in here and uh, I hang here, and, you know what I mean, other things. Uh, my eye mask, <laughs> pills, everything else I could think of, and go in there. And before it was just, we well, could see a bit of it through there, it was just grey, just a uh, plastic covered grey thing really but I thought well it's ideal but I did want it a little bit wider so I cut it down and sorted a piece of um, like uh, dress material silky dress material at the back and then covered that with lace so I did that both sides just to give it a little bit of extra room there um, I then started in the back. I had this strong linen. It did have a nice piece of um, crochet at the end, but of course I had to cut it down to fit. So that's what that is. And then I did just a piece of lace at the top uh, along this side to cover where I'd cut it. Um, what you see here is the. Um, that's got to be redone. This is um, Velcro. So I tried to stick Velcro with my hot glue gun to the bar so that I could take it off and on. You know what I mean when I want it, but it's not stuck very well, so I'm going to have to come up with a little something else. I've left the elastics on so I can wrap it around um, the pole type of thing. I'll have to show it you in, in situ as it were. So that's the back. But you don't see that right. Oops! You don't see anything if I drop the uh, drop that, will you? So on the inside, I covered it again with. I think it's just just plain sheeting at the back, and then um, got this pretty light rose rose border here. I did want them, the roses both, you know, complementing each other, going into the front. But of course, they wouldn't, would they? Because it's all on one strip. I then put um, another strip down, which has got these uh, little flowers here, and it still needed a bit more, so I just added two or three little lace um, butterflies that come on um, a lace strip. So that's what I've done there, and I didn't want to do anything else because don't forget my hand will be in and out. So if you you know, if you put too many embellishments in there, it's, um, they'll all come off eventually. So I left the, the main part for the front, which is, which is what you can see. So this is a lovely, very old linen hanky. And you can see I've been watching Sonia Steptoe. And I've been watching the lady from the attic and crafting the attic and got in a zoo house. So I started off, I just did two stems and had a play with the ribbon, silk ribbon, which I dyed with Pro Markers ink pens. Uh, I made a bit of a mess down here, so I thought, well, I better put some grass. So it looks a bit like the growing out of the grass. And then did the leaves. And I thought, oh, I'll put a little ladybird on the leaf. And once you start doing that, you think, oh, I'll have a couple of snails. And I put a bit of gold work in the snails. And then I thought, oh, I'll do a little bumblebee. And that one, it's, I've, 
I looped all the the black and the um, yellow thread. As I pulled it through, I just let it loop, and then I, I snipped them and trimmed them down, so it's got a nice touchy feely furry feel. Uh, a couple of butterflies with beadwork, oh, beadwork and uh, embroidery. That one didn't come out to plan, but never mind. This is a what do you call it? A dragonfly or a maidenfly. And uh, that got a little bit of gold work in her leaves, and another butterfly. So I like this ruffle, which has already got pearls in it. So I put that up the sides, and then just put a row of the oh, sorry, the row of the bow trim at the top. I have put inside a little bit of um, a strong crochet lace here because I know it will get quite a lot of wear there. So, but as you can see, it was just plain grey. Just plain grey. And it still is all the way down there. And and I put a nice bit of dangles just to finish off the um, hanky. It was a shame, really, the hanky did have some lace around, but uh, uh, I've had to cut it off to make it fit or fold it under. And then, just to finish it off, I put a couple of these little flowers just to hide where you know where it finished up at the bottom there and so that's my changeover so if I put it on Facebook I dare say it'll go into Amanda's thing because I'm, I'm quite pleased with it the way it's turned out looks far better than what it was anyway I think I might just stick that butterfly a bit more it's not see benched up there does it so that's that one thank you very much ladies so still with the ribbon and embroidery theme, I've done this, I've done this and this design was from Crafts in the Attic Lady, do you know I don't know her, her first name at all, she's on YouTube anyway, Crafts in the Attic and she's done a very similar design so I have copied her with this. Um, <laughs> She won't recognise me because it's just a lot better than mine. But it was just practising doing the little roses and um, colouring in mainly. And and then I've done the, I don't know, I call them grapes or they could be wisteria, couldn't they, hanging down. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that. I've put it on um, quite a big backing piece so that I can cut it and put braiding around it and do what I want with it after. So that's quite handy. That's that one. And this one, which I'm very pleased with, which I've just finished up in the garden, um, in the lovely sunshine. Everybody's gone away for the holidays, haven't they? And left us with this beautiful sunshine. You know, spending money going Tenerife and wherever Amanda's gone on a cruise and... Oh, they're so kind. They've left us all this, all this sunshine to enjoy to ourselves. Thank you. <laughs> now, this was a new venture for me. This is a beautiful, very old, I think. Very big. From there to there. Uh, tablecloth, it's a pillowcase. But you can see it's, it's very, very wide. Very, very big. I'll just show it you like that. Like a bolster. Beautiful thick material. So I thought, right. Well, of course I've never done cut work before. I need something strong. And uh, get them a bit heavy handed. <laughs> so there I did. I started it. So, cut work. How do you do it? I'm not sure if uh, Sonia's done this yet. I know she's done mirror, how to put mirrors on in that, but I'm not sure if she's done the actual cut work. But I'm I'm here, there and everywhere in the middle of the night looking at YouTube, Indian ladies and everything, um, doing all their embroidery. So for cut work, you can see my fingers through them, so you know it's holes. Uh, just draw the shape of the petal. Do the running stitch all the way around. 
making sure there's no gaps between your running stitches. I did one row and then I did round again. And then make a tiny slit with a very, very sharp pair of scissors, small. I've seen ladies in India and they actually use a razor blade. Just, just you know, a razor blade, that's it. Uh, I wouldn't trust myself for one of them. And then it's a, a buttonhole stitch, two layers of it. Now on, on these, because I wanted it to be strong and I, didn't, I was frightened it was going to break or anything, I did... I used all six pieces of um, cotton, you know, uh, embroidery cotton. I didn't separate them at all. I used the whole six. So it was nice and strong. So, very happy with that. So I thought, oh, put in a couple of leaves. So I just drew them willy-nilly. And um, I did more cut work with the, with the leaves. And... I, do, I wanted them to be slightly finer. Them too, I have used the full amount of um, uh, strands, but then I remembered I didn't want to do that, so I used just three. I used full strands for the chain stitch, for the, uh, what do you call that, the stem, but I only used three strands. Same method, little back stitch twice around the little shape you want, Cut it in the middle without cutting your stitches, and then back stitch, uh, back stitch, button stitch, two rows around. So <clears throat> I enjoyed doing that. I just did that flower, and I thought, what for the middle? And I was going to do like uh, French knots in the middle. And then I remembered I had these little mirrors. They are petal shaped actually, but it doesn't matter. So. That was my first attempt, which is not bad, not bad at all. And then I laid it out and I thought, once a bit more. So I put three more petals up here, but in like a lilac, lavender lilac. Another little mirror, which I think I got on with better with that. And then coming down. went all along and did the same on the other side. Okay. But I find it very enjoyable and very relaxing doing it. Don't worry about these purple things you can see. Um, so I've only just finished it off and um, that it's that special ink that fades. So I might have done it a bit thick there so it'll fade, don't worry. And then in the centre, I needed to finish it off with something, so I did lots of circles and I wasn't sure what I was going to do with them. And I ended up doing uh, that weaving rose, that's not called a, fr a French, not what's it called. You know when you put the five spokes and you go round and round, in and out, in and out, and that type of rose. And then I did a little chain stitch for the tiny leaves and I found some beads that match this cotton, seed beads. So I just put one or two right in the centre of the um, of the leaves. That's what I did. So I'm very pleased with the way. I don't think I'll be doing much more to this at all. I was wondering whether to put something on this border. But if I do, it would be something very simple because, um, you know, the, this is the main design. And Arthur said he's claimed it for himself for in the caravan. I don't know. So, uh, but I have to find a big cushion now, a uh, pillow for it to fit, because it is bigger than um, your average size pillow. But that's it, ladies. That's what I've been up to. I hope, uh, hope you've enjoyed seeing it. And, you know, I've got... Uh, Sonia's got a lot to answer for, and I don't know how she finds the time to do everything. I've said to her, there must be 48 hours, I think, in Australia, because she seems to pack an awful lot in. <laughs> but uh, I do want to have a go at her little button houses. They are so sweet. They are adorable. So I definitely, definitely want to have a go at them as well. So at the moment, 
I've just got my frame ready again to go back in the garden because it is beautiful and um, I'm going to have a go at doing some lavenders because I bought some dried lavender and I fancy doing some lavender bags with my own interpretation <laughs> of um, lavender stalks on it so we'll see how that turns out so that's all for now ladies so I thank you for joining me and I know I've got a couple more new subscribers and, and you're very welcome and and thank you for coming to chat and, and see some of uh, some of the work I do and um, I'll be along again Thank you very much, ladies. Happy crafting to each one of you. Bye for now.